Well, this is homemade biryani masala. I showed this to you a couple of months back and I promised that I'll show you a recipe from this. Today's recipe, ladies and gentlemen, is a pressure cooker biryani. The treatment of this recipe is exactly like how you would make a biryani. Albeit, the whole process is going to happen in a pressure cooker. It's as simple as that. In a deep wok or a kadhai or a pressure cooker for now, I'm going to take oil and then deep fry onions. Literally the way you would make barista. Let's begin with red onion. Once the onions turn golden brown, time to add in whole spices, bay leaf, cinnamon, cloves, green cardamom, paste of ginger, garlic, green chilies, dried fenugreek leaves and give this a quick stir. Once the raw flavor of the ginger garlic kind of goes away, time to add in the star of this recipe, homemade biryani masala. And in case, by any chance, if you've not seen the recipe, it's never too late. Check the description box below and make this right now. Well, in case you do not have time to make this, at this stage, you add in turmeric powder, red chili powder, coriander powder, garam masala powder. And that's fine also. Let's mix this. Time to add in vegetables of choice, beginning with French beans, moving on to peas, fresh frozen, choice is completely yours, green capsicum, carrots, and along with all of this, some paneer as well. Time to add in salt as required, and we mix this before adding in the rice. Time to add in whipped curd, preferably homemade, and immediately to this, let's add in soaked rice. Of course, you wash it once, twice over and soak it for 20 minutes. Let's mix all of this well. And now comes in the real test of the biryani. How much water would you add in while pressure cooking a biryani? It's very simple. For every cup of raw rice, we would be adding in one and a half cups of water. Very simple. So here I have two cups of raw rice. For that, I'm going to use three cups of water. Simple. Do not goof this up because if you get this wrong, we end up like a congee. Simple. Finally, just before the lid goes on, generous amount of desi ghee. Finally, check for salt and cover this. On high flame, we cover this and we cook this under three whistles. It's been three whistles and with this, off goes the flame. Like I said, allow the steam in the pressure cooker to completely subside. And after that, we'll serve. The pressure has subsided. Let's have a quick check. With this, finally, a pressure cooker vegetable biryani is done and ready. Let's quickly garnish it. Make this for your family, make this for your friends and let me know in the comment section how you like this pressure cooker wali vegetable biryani. Bye for now.